To integrate the inverse sine function, arc sine of x, we can actually use integration by parts, the formula for which I've put here for your reference. When setting up integration by parts here, there's not a whole lot of choice. We have to pick u and differentiate that, and we have to pick dv and integrate that. We don't know how to integrate arc sine, that's the whole issue, so dv definitely can't be arc sine. So we'll have to let u be arc sine of x, and we do know how to differentiate that. The derivative of arc sine of x is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared, and that just leaves dx to be dv. We integrate both sides to get that v is equal to x. Then applying the integration by parts formula gets us here. We have u times v, which is arc sine of x times x, and then minus the integral of v du. So minus the integral of v, which is x, times du, which we see there. All right, so this is what it is, and then we'll just have to deal with this integral, which looks a little ugly, but it's actually not so bad. Look in the denominator. We have the square root of 1 minus x squared. Inside the square root, 1 minus x squared, the derivative of that is negative 2x dx, and that's actually just a constant multiple of everything else in this integrand which means we should use u substitution. Letting u equal 1 minus x squared, the thing inside the square root, we have that du equals negative 2x dx, and then we can divide both sides by negative 2 so that on the right we get x dx, which matches up with our integrand. So x dx then will be able to replace with negative half du. That gets us here. We bring the factor of negative half out of the integral, which turns this negative into a plus, and then there's the one half. And then in the integral, we have one over the square root of one minus x squared, but one minus x squared is u, so it's one over the square root of u. And then of course, we also have du. Now one over the square root of u is the same as u to the negative half, so we'll rewrite it like that, which makes it easy to integrate using the power rule. Applying the power rule, we increase negative one half, the power, by one to positive half, and then divide by that new power. Dividing by one half is the same as multiplying by two. Then we replace u with what we set it equal to, which was one minus x squared. Thus, we have one minus x squared to the one half, the two and the one half there cancel out. And so we're right here. That's the integral. Of course, we also have the arbitrary constant. And then finally, we may like to rewrite that rational exponent as a square root, since we had a square root to begin with. So there's our final answer. The integral of arc sine of x is x times arc sine of x plus the square root of one minus x squared plus the arbitrary constant. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and be sure to check out my Calculus 2 course and Calculus 2 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.